The Land of Waves arc is the first major arc of the Naruto manga, where Team 7 goes on their first mission to escort a bridge builder named Tazuna to his home village. Along the way, they encounter a rogue ninja named Zabuza and his partner Haku, who work for a corrupt businessman named Gato. The arc explores the themes of loyalty, sacrifice, and the meaning of being a ninja. Let's start the summary of the Land of Waves arc. Let's begin the very first arc of Naruto, the Land of Waves. Before that, let's take a look at the characters. This is Naruto Uzumaki, the main character of the series. His parents died in Nine Tails attack. This is Minato Namikaze, who sacrificed himself during the Nine Tails attack to save the Leaf Village and his son Naruto. Minato sealed half of the beast into himself and half into Naruto and died. Now there is a demon inside Naruto. This is Sasuke Uchiha. His brother killed his parents along with whole clan. He seeks revenge against his brother and this is trash. Oh, sorry, this is Sakura. She does everything except for being useful and she simps Sasuke. But Sasuke doesn't care. Now let's begin the video. Before that, consider subscribing VerseTube for similar Naruto content. And let's begin the summary. Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura form Team 7 under the guidance of Kakashi who tests their teamwork skills by challenging them to take his bells. Team 7 accepts a C-rank mission to escort Tazuna to the Land of Waves, but they are attacked by Zabuza, a former member of the Mist's Seven Ninja Swordsmen. Kakashi reveals his Sharingan and fights Zabuza, while Naruto and Sasuke rescue Tazuna. Zabuza is seemingly killed by a masked boy named Haku, who is actually his ally. Yes, it's he, not she. Team 7 arrives at Tazuna's home and learns that he is building a bridge that will free his village from Gato's tyranny. They also meet Tazuna's grandson Inari, who has lost his faith in heroes after witnessing his adoptive father, Kaiser's execution by Gato. Kakashi trains Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura to improve their chakra control by climbing trees. Naruto befriends Haku, who tells him about his past as an orphan with a special bloodline limit that allows him to manipulate ice. Haku also asks Naruto about his dream and his reason for being a ninja. Zabuza and Haku attack Team 7 again on the unfinished bridge. Kakashi and Zabuza resume their battle, while Haku traps Naruto and Sasuke in his ice mirrors. Sasuke awakens his Sharingan and protects Naruto from Haku's needles, but is seemingly killed. Naruto's anger unleashes the power of the Nine Tails within him, and he breaks free from Haku's trap. He is about to kill Haku, but stops when he recognizes him as his friend. Haku then sacrifices himself to shield Zabuza from Kakashi's lightning blade. Gato arrives with his thugs to kill everyone, including Zabuza. Naruto confronts Zabuza, uses talk no jutsu on him and accuses him of being heartless and using Haku as a tool. Zabuza breaks down in tears and admits that Haku was more than a tool to him. He then takes one of Naruto's kunai and charges at Gato, killing him and several of his men before dying from his wounds. Naruto and Zabuza's words inspire Inari and the villagers to rise up against Gato's remaining forces. Team 7 completes their mission and bids farewell to Tazuna and his family. The bridge is named after Naruto, who is hailed as a hero by the people of the Land of Waves. Comment down what do you think about this arc and make sure you subscribe this channel for more arc explanations. Also consider watching this video. This is VerseTube, signing off.